Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, get started uh, on our work session here. Uh, we'll start out with a uh, discussion about our uh, safety workshop that we had last month, as well as the input from the staff. And I've asked Manny to kind of talk to talk about some of the things that have been uh, accomplished or changed or whatever since our workshop meeting, some progress that has been made on, on some of these issues. So Manny's going to start with that and then we'll get into the, the work session. Okay, so thank you, Stephanie. So um, there have been uh, various um, things that have been uh, initiated that we've been very happy about and happy to see. Uh, number one, and this has been in the works for a while, but if you notice the exterior of the property, the bushes and, and the trees have been trimmed or removed. And that is to prevent anyone from hanging out in the shrubs or in bushes. It looks fantastic. I can't tell you how many compliments I have received from patrons and staff that absolutely love it. I mean, you can see literally the parking lot uh, behind us over here. Uh, it's great for the apartments. Um, so that, that's been a tremendous um, upside with this. Uh, also, we've been seeing police presence in the building and in the exterior of the building. Um, Maribel PD and Alcoa PD, we have seen them as well in the parking lot. And they're basically coming to the library on a daily basis and just forming a perimeter suite, just going around. Although go outside, I'll see them outside my office going to the Wi-Fi tables and just doing a couple of walks during the during the day. And if possible, because there's other things going on in the evening when we close at eight o'clock, there is an officer in a vehicle watching the staff leave at night because by eight o'clock now, it is dark out. So if they're available, they are out here watching the staff, they just remain in their car. And as soon as the last staff member leaves, they leave as well. They've also been doing a nightly sweep of the parking lot. So they have been driving through the parking lot to make sure no one is hanging out in our parking lots. And a staff member told me this morning that her and another staff member arrive around 7, 7.15 in the morning. And before uh, this in the incident occurred, you would see several cars hanging out. Now you're not seeing any cars mm -hmm. at all. So that's definitely been a, a positive change that the police are out there checking our parking lots and just you know, making sure no one's hanging out in our lots. Um, I have been in contact with IT as well, Lund County IT, and actually Justin, who is the IT director, he will be here at 530 and he can provide an update on Sarah as well as the portable uh, panic buttons because that company also does it as well. I had brought to his attention walkie talkies and he had recommended uh, walkie talkies, especially for our teen area. So our teen room is kind of isolated from the building. So having a walkie talkie there and having the other one at the children's department uh, will be beneficial. They can handle 22,000 square feet. So it's a, it's a very nice and expensive walkie talkie set, but I know the staff and children's would be relieved with that. I think it's much easier to get on a walkie-talkie versus grabbing your phone and texting or dialing that. You can just, with a, a touch of a button, you can contact someone. They always have to be charged. If they're not in the team room, those two are going to be charged, and then the team librarian would bring it into their team room as well. Um, I... Uh, attended training uh, this morning over at the courthouse. I um, mean, it was it was hosted by Tima, uh, so they did talk about you know incidents that have occurred in public buildings, including the library here, the the flood of Christmas Eve last year. It is the process of going through, but I thought it was beneficial because it also brought up active attacks, any sort of heaven forbid a terrorist attack on a public building as well. And uh, that was a two hour 
um, workshop this morning. Uh, very, uh, several department heads were there. Mayor Mitchell was there as well. Um, so I took a lot from that and briefly spoke with Lance, um, who is the director of uh, emergency oh. management. Yeah, Lance Col Coleman. Coleman. Um, it was very brief because he had to go down to Townsend uh, dealing with the fires. Um, but out of all this, I know there's been the discussion of, of forming a safety committee, and uh, we've already, I've already received a couple of confirmations from staff that would like to be on the committee. Um, also, uh, the head of risk management for the county. I was going to ask uh, another department head, but again, um, they had another issue they had to tackle that was much greater than me talking to them at the moment. A commissioner as well. Um, Justin from IT will be on it as well. Uh, you'll, you'll, if you haven't met him yet, you'll see him in about an hour from now. Uh, and obviously a board member on there and meeting maybe every month or every quarter or every other month, uh, tackling all these issues and concerns and trying to come up with solutions. Um, another thing that has happened, and this is with the work of IT, is that our Wi-Fi is turned off at eight o'clock in the evening and then on again at eight o'clock in the morning. And then that has also prevented for people from hanging out. And that was something that Maribel PD had um, explained to me about two in the morning, people just hanging out here and uh, just we're just trying to be proactive when it comes to this. Um, was, was the police department okay with that too? Because I've seen them here sitting in the parking lot. Oh, yeah, they're the ones who actually brought it up to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Maribel PD. Yeah. So because they're out here. I figured they had one in their cars, I would assume. But oh, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, the PD, yeah, the police officers have some sort of Wi Fi. That, yeah, they, they can still get on it's online. Still it's online. Yeah. All the time. yeah. They can only drop a certain a certain amount of a certain amount every every shift, and so if you see one parked someplace, no, online, I just see me here wild. on their computer, and I figure they were on our Wi-Fi system. Oh no, yeah, no, no they get there. Yeah. Yeah. Cell phone. No, but that's a good question. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Yeah. So, man. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to at some point you and I we really need to debate about the Wi-Fi turn off. Okay. I have an issue, and we, we just need to have, to have a discussion. You're on that committee. We're going to go go to that right now. Just a minute. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that, Manny, is there any anything else? That's you want to talk about the committee first, uh, and see if there's any other suggestions for who uh, might serve. Right. We do need a board member. If, yes. if there's anybody that wants to volunteer to serve on that committee. Um, you can you can let Manny or I know in the next few days. Um, but are there other besides police representatives? Yes, um, I forgot to say that. I'm sorry. Law enforcement, IT, a commissioner. Uh, I'll be on it. Two staff members, Chelsea Matheny, who is not in the room right now. She will be present. She will be on the board. And Beth Coppinger as well will be on the board representing um, the staff. I do think. Someone from the big from the the French should be on that because they're in the basement. So I don't know, D, if you or someone that you would recommend, or Dick, or someone could be on the yeah yeah to have responders. And like I said, risk management here already confirmed, and I didn't get to speak to the other department Lance. heads. Yeah, Lance he had a bolt, so um, yeah. So if you've got any any particular people that you want to recommend to be on this committee, um, in our board meeting at 5.30, um, I would like for someone to make a motion that we form this committee, uh, that, we, that we appoint this committee, and that we, we will work on that in the next uh, couple of weeks to get those committee members established and so we can move on with, with this. So I'll need that motion at the at the meeting at five thirty that we establish a safety committee to, uh, to move forward with, with what we might need to do. But if you think of somebody else that's 
you know, that has a special skill or um, an area, you know, someone who's an expert in camera placement or uh, lighting or, you know, whatever it might be that uh, we would need or would want on this committee, let us know who that might be. Can I ask a question about the walkie talkies? Yeah. You said two. Yeah. Who do they communicate with? So we would have the, the, the pair, the, the walkie talkies, would be, uh, the teen library would be in the teen room. So they would, she would have it on her. And then the other walkie talkie would be at the children's department. Just two. Yeah, but well, the, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. two doesn't seem to be enough if you're going to yeah. 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 talk about just, security. I'm thinking about. In, in our school, like in, in each hallway, there are at least three in each, like sixth grade hall, seventh grade hall, eighth grade hall, and then the related arts hall, and then the office staff, the cafeteria, the custodians, every uh, location. I would, I would, I'll see with, with Justin, because the one he recommended, they're $418 for two. Well, you know, so, I, 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 I would think that you like, could either... We can handle that, or you could go to the county commission and ask for. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, I mean, it's it's the, a safety thing. The so, Sarah system is on every computer. What, what well, good Sarah, luck with getting the Sarah, Sarah system to work on the computer. What is the oh, Sarah system? Okay. Let me explain the Sarah system because we have it in the schools. Okay. And um, yeah, and I'm sure Justin will talk about it. But we all have panic buttons. I call it my, I've fallen and I can't get up, but, but um, and I have pressed this button accidentally one time and it works, but it sends out a, a text message and a phone call. So our cell phones are all registered with that system. It no longer goes through our computers. That was an epic fail when they tried that, but it does come, we get a message, a text message, and we get a cell phone call and it says where the emergency has taken place. Who pressed the panic button? Um, it doesn't tell you what kind of, like if it's a medical emergency or anything like that. It just says there is an emergency in room 711. The button was pushed by Don Reagan, uh, you know, and we are in a current lockdown situation. So um, it, that, that's the way ours works at school. I know the, the ones, and Justin will, will know more about this than, than me, but when it's pushed, the cameras wherever it's located, and that gets dispatched yes. to the 911 center. Yes, it does. It, it automatically dispatches to the 911 center. So luckily, we can, can't, we can cancel ours real quick. Like I had to just get yeah. on the intercom and say, no, you need to do that. Sorry. And it was the first day of school. It was great. First day of school at 738. It was great. It was great. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to pair you all up and give you one of the areas. Um, Summer has printed a copy of the input from our last meeting, our last work session, as well as the staff input uh, from those categories. And there are like 11 categories. Uh, and you have a worksheet here. Uh, I'm going to assign a category to two people to talk about. Uh, Put down what your category or area of concern is. Look at what the comments are, because a lot of that information that you have are comments. They're concerns and comments. So what is the problem and what are some of the problems? And you can just list them. Don't spend a whole lot of time on that. And then do you need information? Do we as a board need more information to study this issue or problem? And if so, how do we get this information? Who do we get this information from? And then look at some short-term, mid-term, and long-term solutions that you all talk about. And then we're going to come back and talk about all of this and, and get input from everybody else. So, uh, number one, staff training and communication. I've got Manny and Dawn. Uh, Wi-Fi tables. I've got Andy. Oh, I didn't put you on that, Logan. I'm sorry. You want to be on that one? Okay, uh, I'll put Andy and Logan together on that. Tim, I'll move on to another one. I had you on that. Uh, number three, communication. Uh, I will, Logan, at Lauren and Anjanae. Okay, 
Lauren's not here, but we, I'll make it somebody else with you on that. Um, addressing the unhoused population, I've got uh, Sean and Logan. That's what I've got you on, Logan. We'll, we'll circle back around the Wi-Fi when, okay. when we talk about it. Um, number six, check outside lighting. Um, Pam and Andy, I've got you two, so hopefully you can get two of those done. Um, we'll skip children's area access right now, and we'll we'll do that as a group. Isolation of bathrooms, I've got Greg and Susan. Um, basement, D, you and I are on that one. I've got Manny and Don on the main door to admin hallway as well. Now, who did I not assign somebody? Something. Get Sean, Sean and Logan. Okay. That didn't get all of them assigned, but it got most of the big ones assigned. So be sure also to look under the other category when you're looking at those because those were just kind of, uh, just, just kind of, Sporadic, so there may be something under that other category that kind of fits under under yours too. Okay, hey Lauren. <laughs> okay, anybody have any questions? You might want to get up and move close to the person that you're working with, and and let's let's take about what fifteen minutes, ten minutes, talk about these and. and Try to get some stuff down, and if we need more time, we'll just take the, the whole time if we need to. Let's see, Mark. so as soon as Needless to say, Okay, so this is all I have it. I was Yeah, I was. We're reviewing what we can share with us. Yeah, I don't believe we're going to be turning them off. This is the That's the way it is. That is a security. Your name hasn't been confused. Summer. This is half of the Staff, so, <laughs> so it's 
it might be the very last thing. Okay, the very last thing. Here is the do is. Here is the last thing. 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 Okay, so I mean, but still, it would have if somebody had seen. That's going to be a good thing. So there's lights. There's lights. You know, I mean, it's been a good thing. You wrote the thing, for example, about the now. Yeah, we So, camera technology is involved under the guidance. But you could have a good one with a very light motion. I wrote up something. So, you want to do something where you're seeing the motion and then we call extremely high level of spotlight. If somebody's there at the guard, it's good. So, you're in charge of the staff. Yes. Well, okay, hold on. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Where it's like motion, spotlight comes on, I can talk through it. And that's done in terms of life. There are signs, and it's fully really marked, all of that. Yeah. Um, so that's the only thing I've seen. Um, we've got the staff forum, how we yeah. communicate. Yeah. 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 We really But can that be so used uh, at the founding So, there's Sarah. I don't think it's Sarah. It's the same thing that I'm not going to say. I just going to say. Yeah, yeah, we write so such and such. I don't have any place to plug in my Yeah, I think that goes along with kind of the so 
what is it? Um, the, uh, there's a few things that comes in here from the first first off, but if you want to see time, he's going to be in his Yeah, he might not be able to take it. You know, somebody crossed in there. I get as far as I can go by It used to close out the State that something is Oh, no, I was here this weekend. Yeah, this is just 
what community agency is or I think that the broad of that is something that, that we can work and control. Yeah, we've done so as long as it becomes the router and your college. Most modern routers have all those controls. So, it's relatively inexpensive. I didn't imagine so. I don't know exactly how they have to work. You can ask just what they should do with this. Like and you should be pretty. Yeah, we'll we'll some kind of like training for the year at the Chamber of Commerce. And there's an answer. Well, the system they have right now might do it. They think they'll be able to fall asleep. I don't know. Yeah, like it depends on what they have set up to provide Wi Fi. That kind of technology, those kind of modules, are just built right in. I mean, these days, the MX networks. But you, you make them back and say, if you make them back and say, well, you need a different that, router for that. I mean, but it's worth the time. And there's the rental. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're just, here. Here. so they really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah. the yeah. counter yeah. yeah. concerns is so my router is seven dollars. <laughs> then the question becomes identify identify And that'll be done for the one message. Yeah. 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 And, and I think, you know, just on the, the circumstances. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so, I think, yeah, I think that is, is yeah, it's it's yeah. and I think even more, I think it's just you can not have that 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 I think it's good to do that. I and I go to the bathroom, I'll do the thing that I have. And then I'll do the thing that I have. i i Right, and then you want to 
Yeah, that's a good idea. 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 Yeah, and, and if anything, you should do model of where it's and not just practice at all. Well, I mean, so that's, that's one that if, 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 if we've got the lighting for, for security purposes, it's good, yeah, yeah. it's going to do that, right? But that's that's what we need to do. The closest management is cover, yeah, the better lighting, the better the metal. I think we can almost generally say, like, you all probably review what lights are in use, and we could swap out more lumen lights, like something that's brighter, like just as a maintenance internally. Yeah, and the friends yeah. 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 The next journal is just yeah. 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 and we may want to also put it. We may want to put Okay. Yeah. 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 I think only if we've got yeah, well, and um, yeah. 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 yeah, I think that's right. that's one thing. Uh, that so we'll just call it staples. Yeah, that I think it works well. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm yes, because it's something like that. Um, when is it? Yeah, it's right yeah. yeah. it's like, like, like some, like some radar, radar, and that's because it's just it's, it's a back of life. I agree. I mean, I mean, I agree. 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 I this is the role that they that they play. This is what goes on. Because I'm not exactly that's what you do. I don't know what resources you need. I mean, it's, you know, or that may be a long on my part, but Right. 
Was, was this, I mean, historically, um, I believe to recall that uh, so the bus, tra bus track sort of Oh, family problems. Okay, they're they're part of that. And so a lot of a lot of what they what they got is because I tried to single woman you had a family promise and for a hundred dollars all right, let's wrap it up in about a minute. So we can take a collection. Right, which is, right, right, which is, which is, but, you know, and so I think that doesn't matter who you do Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, thank you all very much. Um, I'd like for just a very brief report. Uh, from each group, uh, and then we'll get, if you would, don't leave with these um, papers. We want to give these to Summer so you can uh, uh, document this. Uh, group one staff training and communication, Manny and Don. Go ahead, Manny. <laughs> so this is, and actually, I'm glad that you had me on that because this is more on my end. This is just to have clear uh, communication with the staff when we do have any sort of incident. I had brought this up uh, last Friday at Staff Development Day, but also like the walkie-talkies. And we did find another, thanks to Greg, too, um, walkie-talkies for 10 of them. Amazon, 10 of them for like 150 bucks. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. <laughs> so... That and then uh, Sarah was brought up, but I know Justin will talk about Sarah after. Her. <laughs> you talk about it now. You want to talk about it now? I talk about it when, whenever. Why are you talking? Yeah, talk about Sarah. Okay, it's this thing. I'm... It's not actually no, not at the moment. Perfect. I don't like talking about it. <laughs> so I'm Justin McClure. I'm the IP director for the county. Um, so I work with Don, I don't work, I work with Don, not for Don, but Don Stallion's risk, uh, risk manager. He's the one that technically owns the Sarah system, but it's very IT driven. So we get involved as well. So, uh, so here at the library, we have Sarah installed on all the computers. Um, they're already been configured for the ones at the windows and select, well, not windows, but the ones at the counters and select locations to be able to actually fire off events. And when when an event gets fired off, it will go to all all of the other computers in the library. So not every computer can fire off at an, an event because it's very location driven. So like your you know your checkout uh, counter, those computers, whenever a, an event is fired off in one of those, the event actually goes down to the nine one one center, alerts the dispatchers, brings up the, the closest camera so they can kind of see what's going on and they can help you know first responders. In that aspect, so that that is all set up. We're actually going to do a, a big test on that next week. Uh, we would have done it this week, but I think Don's been busy with all the fires in towns and Townsend or whatnot. So uh, we're going to do that next week. And then you want me to talk about the mobile? Yes, but yeah, button. Okay. The button. Yeah, but. So there. So Sarah does have a couple of options for mobile pendants or mobile panic buttons, mm -hmm. if you will. The schools already use a version. Uh, where it's like a pendant that you would wear, you clip on somewhere. And those are a little bit more IT, um, I would say, technology heavy, I guess I should say, because for those to work, we actually have to get some uh, different antennas to go around the building. We have to run around and triangulate, you know, do a bunch of testing. Because that way it knows, you know, if I'm in here and I press it, then it's going to know exactly where I am. And if I move around, I hit it, you know, in the break room, it'll know exactly where I am. Um, and that location gets sent to dispatch. All, all the, everything that happens in Sarah gets sent to dispatch. So that's that's probably one of the more expensive because there will be a cost for the antennas uh, and that sort of thing. Now, Sarah is coming out, if they're not already, with, a, with, a, with an app for your phone. So it is possible that we could have an app on the phone that the uh, that the employees could use to to do an alert. Right now, that's the only two really mobile. If you wanted me to move around the you know library and be able to hit a button, that's really the only two options mm -hmm. you have. Is there an option? I like I like the mobile option because I know our librarians are moving around so much. Um, to have something permanent like at the front desk installed. Yeah, so those are really easy. Uh, yeah, those are those are probably the easiest button to put on there. Yeah. Um, those they they 
there's it's twofold. You can just have one of those buttons just call 911 yes. directly, or you could feed it into the SARA system as well. Okay, great. Thanks. And that could be installed without antennas. Yeah, yeah, that's just hardwired. It's just the equipment for the actual physical button and you know whatever device uh, plugs into the network that we would do the actual alert. So yeah, so right now they can do alerts. They just have to be at a machine that has the option to do an alert, which is all of your counter machines will have that option. And if we need to put them, we can put them on any machine that you want. It just doesn't do us any good if we put it on like Summer's laptop and Summer's in here and hits it. Well, when 911 gets it, they're going to be like, well, it's on Summer's laptop. Well, Summer could be anywhere. We're going to go to her office first, but she might be in children's or something. So that doesn't, that doesn't help anybody. So we just, we, we strictly keep it to desktops. So is there a computer on at each of the stations around the buildings? Yes. Yeah, there's multiple yes. computers and it's on multiple. Yeah, I know, but are they all always on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as long as there's somebody up there, they're on and logged on. Thank you. Yeah, and, and Justin will be, uh, we talked about the safety committee. He will be the representative for IT as well. Very good. Thank all you, right. Justin. Thanks. You need anything else on category one staff development communication? Okay. Uh, Wi-Fi tables. Two. And we talked about a number of things. Um, one would be to have another camera in place, and probably some sort of. I mean, there's an element of investigation here. Investigate um, a flexible on-off, uh, flexible off at based off of light. So if it's light out, so in the summer, the Wi-Fi table could come on earlier um, and stay on later. And in winter time, it would be less. Um, the other, uh, other opportunity that we were talking about was possibly the idea of throttling the speed of the Wi-Fi table. So after dark or uh, any outside of library and some kind of operating hours, to see if we could cut the, cut the Wi-Fi speed back so that basically you're not you're not capable of streaming video, maybe just email checking or just a very a very limited experience. Um we have that we have that capability now. Yeah, yeah, we can do that now. Good. Yeah. We've already set the Wi-Fi tables. Uh we've turned up, we've got them on a schedule now for the Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And we, it doesn't take into effect how loud it is outside, obviously, but we can always change it when goes to, you know, that sort of thing. And then the other thing we talked about, and this bleeds into the outside lighting a bit, was to get an additional camera that is focused on that section, because I think there was a bit of a blind spot that was discussed yeah. there. Yeah, true. And then some sort of a high lumen, high visibility, motion activated spotlight that will tie into that camera that will activate um, if somebody's in that, in that area after dark. Thank you. Can I make an additional comment? The, the uh, Wi Fi table uh, situation is not been damaged by homelessness and vandalism. Yeah. But the issue really yes. here for this is how do we control and manage that? And the cameras, as mm -hmm. Tim has indicated, is one of our functions. Then it's about identify and what happens. Yes. May I, and I don't know if you know this, but do we have any kind of maintenance uh, on those tables? So the county supplies the the connection, but the the tables are owned by Maryville Rotary. Mm -hmm. So if there were any issues, they would have to. It's Interfusion, I believe, Audrey is the company. Yes, okay. they would have to. They would pay Interfusion to come out. To, so do they own all of them, or, or the the two out here? Yes, they do. Here, okay. But like at the Martin Luther King Center, do they own that one? The issue is this, this whole uh, maintenance and repair issue. Because I think when we first instru uh, instituted this, I think we got all the tables uh, uh, implement, implementation okay, but we never really talked about maintenance and repair. That's the issue we have now because I did talk with Parks and Rec, who, owned, who managed the MLK Center, and they pushed back to the library. I talked to the Alpha Kiwanis Club, they pushed back to the library. And I know the library at the time did not say that we were going to maintain and repair. We, we don't have like a, a we don't have a we don't have money. 
know, friends. <laughs> no, uh, no, but it, it was never really, we never really Discuss. addressed we that. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah. we, at some point, need to, mm -hmm. to uh, yes. uh, address yep. how we're going to. So the library is responsible for all these Wi Fi tables aside from the two that are back there? The library is kind of the and focal. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. The grants. Right. <laughs> so I guess Mirabel Kawanis did this one. Because I it was I, rotary. Rotary. so it was rotary. I know Alcor Kawanis did the uh, spring, spring, yeah. uh, spring group and the MLK center through a con, arcana. Arcana, yeah. yeah. I thought that right. gave and I want to say it. that the the Kiwanis one, a maintenance of understanding was, but Robert McClellan would be your contact. I talked to him. He said no. He, he, Kick it back to the library. We should have oh, that. But we need we need to find out who made who made those and go back and see what type of yeah. arrangement yeah. we had with those. That and it may or may not still be in the minutes once that was oh, yeah. once that was, was yeah. kind of finalized. When there was a change for her. Yeah, it was documentation because yeah. Robert and I had a conversation about developing an MOE. Yeah, we should. Yeah. I'll I definitely look. think we need to communicate with the folks who donated, I mean, Rotary for sure, and let them know kind of what we're doing with it, too. So the different organizations donated them from the libraries. No. So the, the um, each one was handled a little bit differently. So for an instance, I got involved with the Kiwanis tables out at Martin Luther King Center. And those, for instance, was a grant that Kiwanis had um, entered into with Arconic, and we were a partner. And we were a partner because the idea we as in the I, library were a partner. As in the, yes, but our partnership was that there was already two tables existing, and so it was going to be an extension because prior to that. There was the digital divide, and we were trying to address that, and that was pre-COVID. So there were that was that was the thought, but there was discussion at that time that um, a maintenance of effort should be established. And I'll go back and see what I found. And how many of these tables are all around? Five. Yes. Okay. Not that many. <clears throat> Okay, got some things to do on that. Uh, three communication to the public about safety on tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you want us to go bullet by bullet? Is that what you want us to do? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, the biggest thing that we we route from the staff and from our session was just kind of lack of transparency seems to be a concern um so we have, we really have two audiences that we need to communicate with internally with staff and board and we said we'll identify some stakeholders which could be the Blount county uh, mayor or you know normal pd depending on a case-by-case -case basis and of course the friends and the foundation yes so um and then externally with the community um one of the other um, problems that was perceived was um, one message, so essentially a script for staff to communicate, um, which is is wonderful feedback for us, really. And Anjane shared that there is a staff portal that Manny could share with the staff does. a script and does he does now? Sorry. Um, and then I brought up it, it would be really helpful to utilize that script on Sarah too. So. So, and you can tell me if this is appropriate or not, but like, say if an incident occurs in the library and it goes out to staff and says, um, you know, there was an incident in the bathroom. And within that Sarah message, can we give a script to the employees and say, you know, this is an open investigation? Um, but wait, I have a question. Do you want everybody or do you want to say you will need to contact so and so? So the so the thought here was that using this instant incident for an example, we would say an incident has occurred in the library. 
The marital marital police have been dispatched. Um, everything is we've got to find the right terminology, but everything's under control and okay. And um, we will be providing an update, more information as we have it. Please refer to the staff forum for greater detail. So you're talking about staff. Internal yeah, staff. We kind of threw them in public and that kind of well, threw me so, off. So because say there's, a, there's an incident in the live. Say what happened on October 17th occurred. And, you know, other people were in the library and seeing it, and they're going up to our staff and asking them, hey, what's going on? It would be great if we could quickly give them a script on what to say. Meaning give staff a script so that if if someone in children said, I just saw a young lady run out of the bathroom. What's your feedback? What's your concern? No. I think you need one person that you refer everybody to. If you could do that. We because can... that could get, yeah. So we have staff say, I'm just thinking about, like, at school, yeah. okay. if somebody contacts me and questions me, I, I cannot say anything. I have to refer them to yeah. So this was motivated by yeah. one of the staff's um, Request that all staff should have one message to communicate to the public when questions are asked. So maybe that doesn't happen in the first instance. Maybe that comes from the way that it's occurring right now. Manny does update all the staff on the goings on of the library. And so we could just continue with the process we have in place. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So our message, you know, and it, Yes, we were responding to the request from the staff, but I, I mean, for example, at our office, our response to everybody is, if you would like to reach out to Jeff Murr for more questions, you know, please contact him at this. He is our point of contact. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. And I guess that would be. So are we do, we do have, it would be Manny. So Manny. we do, but Manny has the support structure. He won't. Right. We'll, yeah. Right. We've got him, but he's going to be the one. Um, but the. The current policy, and it, right now it's just social media, um, the policy and the communication uh, crisis plan that we have is exactly what we've implemented, where we, if we get negative input, we're like, thank you for your input. Please reach out to yeah. the WCPL director if you want to talk about it. And we encourage them to enter into conversations yeah, with us. So. That's good. I noticed that on yeah, my Facebook yeah, post the other day. Great. So that was good. I'm, I'm glad you all started doing that. So, man, I mean, that was uh, that will be great to share with staff, and it'll give them some confidence and just ease, right, to, to respond to the community. Um, we have some short-term solutions. Um, wonderful news. Our PR team here is going to begin a PR certificate training. One of the subjects covered in it is crisis management. So they will gain new skills that they can utilize as a year training, a senior training. Um, and then, of course, Sarah, we're going to start using. And then um, we talked about a, a printed out script, which could say reach out to the director of the library. We really didn't have midterm and long-term solutions. We're open to it. You know, I mean, we want to continue transparent transparency as we go. Um, but I think that this is something that we're going to have to kind of look at pretty frequently. Yeah. And and that's mainly it. Our mid and long-term goals will be like we will continue yes. um, having an open door policy um, for staff and community come to talk to Manny and um, get, we'll gather their input and we will tweak these processes and practices as we get input. Okay, and we are past time for our board meeting to start. Uh, do we want to hold this information, the rest of the reports from this? Uh, maybe give it to Summer, give your papers to Summer and let her summarize those and then she can get those out to us so we can see the rest. And then if we have any questions, we can ask. So I can't really I do think that there's going to be a lot of once we get the safety committee up, a lot of inter interconnection. And um, you know, so some of the things that like with our part of the unhoused, you know, talking about 
about certain things there, that those would be things that, along with the lighting, tables, the series, and all that, it's, it's all going to be all going to be interconnected with each other. Well, this I think hopefully this will be kind of a, a direction for them, things for them to, to look at specifically. I think yeah. right now we can be checking the lighting too. You know, yes. That's something that we can do now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's something Don's been. Yeah. yeah. Susan, I have a real simple solution for the restrooms. Just take the doors off. Yeah. If somebody screams, you hear them. You're screaming. But what the petitions are, you really can't you look down the door, you see really can't in. see anybody. Well, they leave the doors in the parks open. You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, right. Well, and my dad, who lives in, who lives in Rockford, he was a school principal for years and said, there's no elementary school. Anymore that, that has doors oh, exactly. on the yeah. bathroom. No, no, there's no school right. that has doors on the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least Our county academy did. Yes. That was there. My school has doors yeah. on the bathroom. That's not. <laughs> so, it has doors on the stalls, but yeah, we have a little bit of serving. But uh, that yeah. you remove it, and if someone screams, surely someone yeah. can hear it. Is that okay with the ladies? I mean, a guy that doesn't care. Oh, and and I also, you know, without yes. without a door, I think, you know, yeah, I think that doors. there are going to be people who are less likely to want to go in and, and do something. I mean, it's you know, from having dealt you know, with burglars and things like and things like that. You don't go into a house that has a big dog. Maybe we need to get a dog. Thank you all. We'll we'll continue this discussion and, and get all this information out as this far. Charge.